Daniel chapter 2 verse 31 Thou, O king, saw it, and behold a great image. Now here's the dream. This great image, whose brightness was excellent. So it's a bright, shining, stood before thee. And the form thereof was terrible. And that means it inspired terror. It, it has... It wasn't terrible looking, but it's, you know, it got you nervous. The image head was of fine gold. His breast and his arms of silver. So it's a man. Man figure. His belly and his thighs of brass. So it's top heavy. And as we get down and down and down, the value is lessening. Getting cheaper. His legs of iron. His feet part of iron and part of clay. That's the dream. And then thou sawest that a stone was cut out without hand. That's kind of hard. How do you cut a stone out with no hands? Which smote the image upon his feet. So the image and that were iron clay and break them to pieces. So it didn't just knock it over, it, it disintegrated. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold reverse broke to pieces together, being like the chaff, the, the worthless light of wheat, no use of the sum, summer fleshing throwers. And the wind then carried the and the wind carried them away that no place was found in for them. So what this image is, one day it will disintegrate, it'll be no more. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Well, that stone is Jesus Christ, the rock. So there's coming a kingdom that's going to destroy all the other kingdoms. And they'll never be. So in the millennium and in the eternal life, as pretty soon I will name off these kingdoms, they won't be there no more. Jesus Christ will get the absolute victory. And you won't find him. This kingdom begins with, with the second advent. Jesus Christ goes into the millennium and then goes off into eternity. This is the dream. And we will tell who's the we. You get Daniel and his three buddies there. Three fellows. We will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. So that was the dream. Now here comes what was the meaning of that dream. Thou, O king, are a, a king of kings. Not the king of kings. But look how Daniel says a king of kings. What could we only throw that verse to? But the Lord Jesus Christ. It begins a king of kings and ends with the king of kings. Like I said, I, I've done the study with the modern Bibles and all that. I'm really not interested. I've just done enough to try to help people to see. But I want what your modern Bibles does with that verse. For the God, capital G of heaven, has given thee a kingdom. Who gave him the kingdom? I, I, I thought Nebuchadnezzar had the power. Yeah. 
Maybe his father, maybe they voted. May, no, 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 no. It came from God. Power and strength and glory. Now remember, this is the king that went in and destroyed the temple and destroyed Judah, who are God's people. And God gave him the power to do that because the sins of Judah and whithersoever the children of men dwell, the beast of the field and the fowls of heaven has given into thy hand. You got animals that are working the fields and doing work. You got animals that are being for food. And has made the ruler over all. So in the area of the Bible, Nebuchadnezzar is a, not a worldwide leader, but he's a realm leader. This, I mean, excuse me, thou art the head of gold. So the head of gold is the Babylonian kingdom. I bet you that went to his head. Because you know what happens in the very, very next chapter? There's an image of gold set up that you're to worship. And after thee shall rise another kingdom. All right, second kingdom. Inferior. Not as grand. Not as spectacular. Not as... Another third kingdom of brass. Which shall bear rule over the earth. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. That's what the that's the only thing the iron really iron is strong, but it's not not a value of the of the stock market for riches. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdue all things. And as iron that breaketh all things made into a hammer, made into a mallet, Shall it break in pieces and brood? And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, ten toes, the ten toes is also a ten divided kingdom, in part of iron, and the kingdom shall be divided, and shall be in it. Of the strength of the iron. Strong. For as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. Humans. Man of clay. And as the toes of the feet were part iron. And part clay. So the kingdom shall be partly strong. And partly broken. And whereas thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Now, here, now we're not going to get into modern Bible, but we're going to get to the scholars. Because when you get over there to Genesis, that the sons of men saw the daughters of men. Well, that's, I forgave who sat for something. Well, that can't be the angels of God. All right, then you ruined the cross references throughout the entire Bible. Because they are the angels. You don't have one particular tribe or group of people when they have females as why they always produce giants. Angels don't marry, but... They're not completely sexless either. Every time you see them show up, they're males. And they mate with the women. Here are 
beings that are meet with the seed of men. That already happened in Genesis. But they shall not cleave one to another. Clay can't mix with iron, and iron can't mix with clay. And it's funny how right now one of the great superheroes, whatever you want to call he's the Iron Man. Boy, the devil has it ready for you. Even as iron is not mixed with clay. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. Everybody, oh, it's a miracle. <laughs> oh, I married it. No, it's not. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest the stone was cut out of the mountain whose hand without hands, and that it break in pieces. So that stone is the rock of Jesus, no hand. Joseph didn't have anything to do with the birth of Jesus. Though one of the modern Bibles says, Joseph, your father. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, I think you should just read any Bible you want to read. Ah, you better be careful with that st stupid. You're saying that about Bible, take away the blood, takes away the deity, takes away Jesus, take away God, takes away hell, uh, uh, everything. Okay, yeah, all right. I hate to see you dealing with God at, at the judgment seat of Christ. Imagine, you see that guy was in your church? Yeah, he tried to tell you right. <laughs> And it break the piece of the iron. That's hard. Because he just got done telling you iron breaks everything else. Verse 40. Iron that breaketh all things. Okay? Well, here, the rock beats the iron. You remember that game? Rock, paper, scissors. You know, I got scissors, you got paper, I win. You know, scissors cuts the paper. Paper covers the rock. Well, the rock in that game has a rock and break the scissors. Isn't that unique? Isn't that ironic that rock, paper, scissors goes by Daniel chapter 2 that the rock can, can outdo all of them? Paper, scissors, and all that. And you didn't even know that was in the Bible. The brass, the clay. How do you break clay? It's pottery. It doesn't say pottery. It says clay. You don't go into the, the earth and pick up a, 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 a piece of or a mound of pottery. You bring out clay. And then you work it on that and you put it under fire. The silver and the gold. Oh, well, there goes your Christmas. The great God has made known to the king what shall come to pass prophecy hereafter. Now you see where people get all these dreams and they want to buy the books and they want to, they, oh, it's going, something's going to happen in the future. Where do they get that? Even though they never read a Bible, where do they get those ideas that come from the Bible? That comes from Satan knowing the Bible. If Nebuchadnezzar can do it, so can you. Not with 66 completed books in the King James Bible. Well, Stolly, don't you rely on the dreams? You won't want to know the, the, the future with my dreams. The King James Bible. Well, the King James Bible, he's not going to, it's not going to tell you who's going to be the next president. I don't care. But it does tell me that Jesus Christ is going to win it all.
and the interpretation that they're of the shirt. Now, let me, for those who can see the video, I'm going to go over here to my notebooks and move me out of the way. So Daniel chapter 2, number 1, the gold, is King Nebuchadnezzar. Daniel says outright. That's 606 to 536 B.C. That's a dictatorship. And when you see these, you're going, oh. <laughs> cry all you want. Hopefully you can get diapers at the, at the grocery store. I don't know. We're getting to a point that grocery store needs to go get to the grocery store to get more groceries in the store. Silver is the media Persia. Now, this is interesting. Two kingdoms, Cyrus and Darius. And yet there are two arms on that image. As Cyrus and Darius as 536 to 330 BC. That's a military dictatorship. They were a fierce army. The brass is Alexander the Great. It's a great monarchy. It's a guy who, who like Nebuchadnezzar, almost conquered the whole world. It's Greece. That's 330 to 100 BC. Iron, the legs, two legs. This would be the east and west of Rome. A republic monarchy with a senate. 100 BC and it hasn't ended yet. You would think, oh, it would be America. There is no America. Well, what about the iron and the clay? Socialism and the Antichrist. Oh, socialism is coming. Socialism is coming. Kill all the Democrats. Socialism is coming. Why? Because socialism is going to bring the Antichrist because the Antichrist is going to bring socialism. If you had your way, Jesus Christ would not have been born according to the scriptures. What? What are you talking about? No new taxes. And yet God used taxes to bring Mary and Joseph into Bethlehem in the city of David where the Messiah need and must be born. God used taxes to do that. God is going to use socialism to bring in the Antichrist. Well, you got, there's one more kingdom. There's the rock. That's the kingdom of Jesus Christ. The millennium. God bless America. You don't even see America at all. And yet America looks like Rome. Look at Washington, D.C. Don't all the buildings look like Roman buildings with all the columns? Isn't there a great big God called Abraham Lincoln sitting in his big seat surrounded by Roman columns? Is there not a big penis in Washington, D.C.? Yeah, yeah, that's the president. No, I'm talking about the obelisk that you call the Washington Monument. That's a penis. And another obelisk that in a place that looks like Rome is in Vatican City. That looks like Washington, D.C. That looks like Rome. Right next to Maryland. Maryland. That's Maryland. That's to like Mary Christ Mass. The devil puts it into one word to confuse you. Baptist Catholics. In the great image of Daniel 2. And the governments we're going to talk about of the prophecy yet to come in the book of Daniel. There is no place for America. Now let me read you something. All right. So America. Let 
And I'm looking for a place. I'm looking around. I'm just, my eyes can't see it. All right, verse 20, 45, 245. Perez, uh, the America's got to be in there somewhere. And Perez, thou saw as the stone that was cut out of the mount without hands, that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold. And it was as the chaff. And it's destroyed. Look at verse 35. Like the that the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, the gold, the broken pieces again. Now this the America's in these kingdoms. You say, what about England? It's in there. It's not mentioned. England will be mentioned in Daniel, not America. We'll come to that, Lord willing. Be like the, the chaff, the summer threshing sword, and the wind shall carry them away. No place was found for them. There's your America. What will America be one day? Gone. Bye. There will be no America in New Jerusalem. The new heavens, the new earth. Any U.S. American president that has not been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ will not walk the street of gold in New Jerusalem. They'll be in hell burning. And yet America is not mentioned. America is not mentioned in the Bible. There's one possible place America was mentioned. And not by America by name. It's Genesis 9. Genesis 9. Now the descendants of Ham, Cana, has been cursed by something they'd done to their father while he was naked. And it says in Genesis 9.24 that Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan. Couldn't curse Ham because Ham was blessed. A servant of servants shall he be in his brethren. He said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. That's where the Lord Jesus Christ comes from. Shem. Abraham. Isaac. And Jacob. Israel. That's your oriental people. And Cana shall be a servant. This one child is going to be servant to Shem. God shall enlarge Japheth. That's the European. He shall dwell in the tents of Shem. He comes over to the Native Americans and he steals, I mean, he conquers the tents. He steals the land of Shem, the Native America, the, 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 the Oriental color of Shem that are here. He steals the tents and the land and puts them off on little reservations. And got him drunk with little beads. You don't believe me? Check out how much the land of Manhattan, New York, was paid to the American Indian by Jacob. What we did to Shem, the Native America, be not deceived, God's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. And many times it wasn't even a war. The tents of Shem. All right, so, okay, maybe that's America. And Cana shall be his servant. And we got the slavery in America. The Africans, the Hamites, were brought over 
to be servants. We stole and killed for the land of Japheth. And it looks like the African Americans are trying to take over Japheth in America. Do we have a Jewish history month? Do we lift up any great Jewish people? Uh, today, I, I, I saw some, uh, my child's coloring a picture of Rosa Parks, what she did. And I put right in the caption, she broke the law. That's what she did. The great African-American. What about the great Jewish? Now, you're not going to get me onto that, but well, there he is. Back to Daniel chapter 2. So Daniel tells the dream. And he interprets the dream. And it's kingdoms in the future. And they happen right on track. The only one that has not happened yet is the feet and the toes. We're in the legs now. There's an, there's an, and by, isn't there east and a west Rome? The Catholic Church is divided among the east and the west. And then it ends with the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's given to a people called Israel, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know how even, even amongst the Jews, you know, because Daniel is not in the prophets. He's not in the Nivean. Not being is Isaiah. Daniel's in the writings, the Ketravim. See, I know some Hebrew. And you say, well, Daniel's a prophet. How come he's in the Ketravim and not the Navi? Because somebody come along and say, well, Daniel wrote this afterwards. You know, like there was another Isaiah, Dudu, Dudu Isaiah. Well, those scholars are going to stand before God and they're going to be losers. I believe everything I read, even that what I don't understand. I believe it, whatever it is. It's not my understanding, it's not my wisdom, and it's not my knowledge to say, well, that's right or wrong. Lord forbid I ever do that. I heard a man in, in a Sunday school classroom. And he, he, I'm not praying for him. But he got, well, there's no infallible word of God ever. I said, there's a King James. Well, whatever you believe. Well, if you believe that there's no word of God infallible without error, you need to sit down and shut up. Because a God who can't write something without error is not a God at all. He's called a scholar, and he writes the NIV, the NHB, the, the New King James, the Living Bible. and That's the one without error. I mean, that's the one with error, excuse me. And it won't take you long with these modern Bibles to open up and show you where the errors are. I know primary to, and you can dig deep, too, and find out. And I guarantee, without even looking, modern Bibles is messed with what we just read.
I am a King James only. There is one inerrant word. There is one word sent by God alone to, to the English speaking people. It is the King James. There is no other. There is no other. There is no other. And unless you want to go back in the family tree, then you would have the, the Geneva Bible. But we're not in the we're not in the past. We are here today. We are a kingdom that is found in the Bible, England, not America. American Standard Version. Ha 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 You mean American fruits of Mary Baker Eddy, Jehovah Witnesses, the Morons? You believe that? that? That's the fruit of that's the religious fruit of America. The charismatic movement out of California. That's American fruit. I am a child of God. I am saved. I my home is New Jerusalem. I'm just passing through. You don't know how many times I pray to the Lord, say, Lord, you just take me out, put me in another country. Put me somewhere where they will love the word of God. Not call the police on me. Not threaten me. And I know there are other countries that will do that. But there's no love. Even the, the ones who request to be Christian will battle you. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell on his face. Well, that's quite odd. <laughs> A king fell down on his face to and worshipped him. Uh oh. Worshipped of Daniel. Uh oh. And Daniel didn't stop it. And there's a lot of speculations. Where was Daniel with Chadrach, Meshach, and Indigo? He wasn't there. That's where he was. You can pay me my money now. Well, what if he was there? And commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet odors unto him. <sighs> Daniel, what are you doing? You know why Daniel goes into the lion's den later on? Be not deceived, God's not mocked, whatsoever a man soweth that he shall also reap. Why are you taking Jehovah's, your God, the God of your father, why are you taking sacrifices and incense? Look at that. Fell on the stage, worship, oblation. Didn't God say in the Lord, bring your oblations, bring your offerings, and then sweet odors? That's incense. Unto him, Daniel. So how, if Daniel's going to be there, how can Daniel tell King Nebuchadnezzar that his golden image is wrong to worship when he's been worshiping Daniel? The bronze image. Right? You do know what colored Jews are. Bronze, brown. Oh, that's right. You, you got a picture of an Italian or a Gentile Jesus. Jesus wasn't Gentile, he wasn't Italian, he was brown, he was Jewish. Do you know why Mordecai got into all the trouble he did? You know, who's Mordecai? Open your Bible and read. Because he would not bow down to Haman, right? Remember that in Esther? Esther who? Read your Bible. Mordecai would not bow down to Haman, and Haman got so angry, he's going to eliminate the Jewish race. Because Mordecai would not bow down to him, and look what Nebuchadnezzar the Gentiles doing to Daniel. Can you imagine when Daniel is in Abraham's bosom, and Mordecai shows up, walks up to Daniel, smacks him in the face. What are you doing? 
knucklehead. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of truth it is. Now, this is where, now, in chapter 2, Nebuchadnezzar is a type of the Antichrist. But he's going to be one of those characters, you know what? How wicked he is. I believe he gets saved. I believe it starts right here. That your God, capital G, is a, a God. Oh, that's like a king of kings. But he's there. He's on the road. He didn't say he's an atheist like I dealt with people on the street. He's not an atheist. A god of the gods, small g-o-d-s. All right, he's the multiple gods. I forget what the word is. I mean, listen, the Babylonians had a god for everything. If your poop was brown, it probably there was a god for that. Your poop was black, they probably had a god for that. If you had diarrhea, they probably had a god for that. And if your pee was bright yellow, it was a god for that. And if your pee was clear, they probably had a god for that. They had a god for everything. It's ridiculous how many gods there are in India. And yet those gods, all those multiple gods can't save your soul. And all those gods are one day, they're going to bow their knee. They're going to say, Jesus is the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Lord and a Lord, a Lord. Well, of kings. No, Nebuchadnezzar, he's the king of kings and the Lord of lords. <laughs> but we're, give him credit. Because we will see him get transferred and transformed. A revealer of secrets, okay? He acknowledges it's not Daniel that revealed that secret. But he worshiped Daniel as God of the God of the secrets. Seeing thou couldst reveal the secret. Now, you ever think about this? Nebuchadnezzar tells his people, I've dreamed a dream, remember? Well, I can't remember it. Tell me the dream and interpretation. Now, isn't it funny how all of a sudden he knows what that dream is? Did he know the whole time or did God lighten his heart? To, uh, here it is. Because he recognizes it as soon as Daniel tells what it is. Then the king made Daniel a great man. Actually, really, God did. And gave him many gifts. And made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon. Like Joseph. Because one day there's coming a Jew who's going to rule the whole world like Joseph and Daniel. Jesus Christ. And people in America, they want that American to come up and rule. There is no American. You're not going to get that great Republican. You're not going to get King Republican Donald Trump. <laughs> Tell you, with the pride that guy has, I don't know how he can be saved. And when he gets up and speaks the name of Jesus, he's only doing it because the person that writes his script put that in there to fool you idiots out there. They know how to do it. The chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon... <laughs> And Daniel requested of the king, and he sent Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo over the affairs of the province of Babylon. So Daniel sets up, he's got rulership, and then he takes his buddies and put them in rulership. Over the affairs of the province of Babylon. But 
Now, there's something to this. Let me show you. Daniel sat in the gate of the king. Hosea. I mean, not Hosea. Uh, Esther. 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 And we want, let's see. Um. All right, with this, all right, chapter four, verse six. Just, I was just looking for one reference. It could be, could be any of the references, and here's the first one. So Hatchet went forth to Mordecai onto the street of the city, which was before the king's gate. There's something about Jewish people sitting at the, at the king's gate. There's prophecy in that. I don't know what. I, I threw it out there for you to look at, and for you to pray. And But there's something. Daniel's at the king's day, gate. And Mordecai is at the king's gate. I would assume that Joseph was at the king's gate. Or Pharaoh's gate. There's something to that. And there was a gate in the book of Ezekiel that we read about that is closed. And it's only for the prince to go in. I don't, I, that's, I don't know. I have no idea. I threw that out there. Maybe somebody has the answer. But there's something about those. There's a Jew... A Jewish man, Hebrew, and he's and get Mordecai. Look at this, Mordecai. You make it more. Just came to me. Um, chapter nine. This is. This is There's a place there where it actually said Mordecai was made ruler. In there. All right, here. Esther chapter 10, verse 3. Now look at this Joseph and Daniel. And Mordecai, the Jew, look how it points the Jew, was next unto King Ahasuerus and great among the Jews. That's Daniel. That's Joseph. That's the same one that was at the gate. Daniel's made a leader. Daniel will be a leader, a president under the Medes and Persians. There's something to it. I don't know what. 